First to three between the Tigers and O's from one of my least favorite ballparks in baseball, Oriole Park at Candom Yards. They're a good team, too. They're 16-11. Wow. That's kind of surprising. Why are the numbers on the back of their uniforms so shiny? They're like metallic. Alex Cobb will get the start. In five starts, he's 0-1. Still to get a still not uh, in the win column. ERA of 3.1, whip of 1.2. Only eight walks on the year, but 21 strikeouts is not uh, nowhere near the league high. And before we get underway, I am going to go make more coffee. That sounds like a great plan. Victor Reyes will lead off when we come back. is this all right no all right clearly i did not set this up today there we go throw that in there Get this game started, huh? What the hell happened in chat? I feel like, I feel like, uh, feel like I missed some stuff. Cobb is dangerous. He's a stud for me. I don't like his delivery. It kind of messes with me. Um, MVP baseball soundtrack always. My God, a hundred dollar restaurant bill. That's not fun. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, Jordan is drinking. Um, it is black coffee today, sir. That is, uh, that's all we got. I don't even have any Bailey's that, that I could, uh, that I could put in the coffee even if I wanted to. On, uh, Bailey's or Kahlua or anything. I have an empty bottle of Kahlua. <laughs> uh, 
da, 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 da. I don't think TJ's here. Shot, I'm drunk. Dear Lord, what has gone on? What has gone on while I've been gone? Okay, let's get with this one started. Victor Reyes. We'll lead off. First of three with Baltimore. Heavy dose of change up. Change up in that curveball. Or he doesn't have a change up. He's a three pitch pitcher. So it's going to be a heavy dose of curve. Come in riding a five game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can have a pitch. Down and in. Franchise mode, I have no problem being patient. I don't know why there's a difference. Maybe they think his splitter is more of a changeup. Or his changeup really is more of a splitter. Right back up the middle. It hits Cobb off the back. And that'll be a base hit. What the hell? Uh, that was a very bizarre sequence. What a weird first hit. Take a look at this. This is squared up by Victor Reyes. And this went right off the back of Alex Cobb. Or right off the... Let's see. Oh, did that hit him on the elbow? Oh, it did! Oh! That's not good. How is he still in this game? Shit. That's rough. Curveball in there from Cobb. Joe McDonald is the umpire today. We'll get Freddie Ferguson and Eric Summersgill in the series. I, uh, I've never really been a big rum drinker. At all. Whoa! Okay. Interesting. I, uh, oh man, have I been feeling that lining Kugel summer shandy lately. Oh, it's, it's essentially lemonade. Oh, Jose Iglesias. Jose Iglesias hit that ball hard, but a little bit too high. One out. With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for the Tigers. Danny, who stands out to you? Like, uh, everyone else, I can't wait to see. Seriously, I, I think, like, if anyone's ever had Mike's Hard Lemonade, you have not had good lemonade beer. Um, if you if you have had Mike's Hard Lemonade and liked it. Next up for Detroit. Line of Kugel Summer Shandy is so fucking good. This one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. Here's the first pitch to him. Small zone today. There's not too many umpires we'll in the that. game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Ah, chased Fouled it. Up. Same spot. Oh, dear Lord. Staff, you're drunk. Inside. How is Nick? Um, cold as shit. It's a little late on that one. Ah, it was late. Fuck, I knew it. Oh, God. We'll just chalk that one up to um, rum. Rum and vodka. Oh. Okay, uh, so the zone's been small to this point in the inning. Um, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the zone gets big. What? How did Victor Reyes get on base? He plunked one off the elbow of Alex Cobb. Off the plate there. Decent uh, number of pitches here thrown by Alex Cobb. Is if, if we can get him throwing 10 or, or more in the first inning, that's usually going to be good for us. Fouled off. Just staying alive. Was Steph mean to Dutchie? No. 
Steph is just really drunk at the moment. In the dirt here. Just ve very, very drunk. <laughs> Come on, Dad! I'm working on it. Oh. Oh, great splitter. It's the first time I had seen it in the inning. I didn't even... Uh, that has to be his changeup. That must be the changeup that Sparty was talking about. That's a good pitch. Here's Austin Hayes. He will lead off. He was the leadoff hitter in the uh, series at Comerica Park as Mike Fires will go to work. A little bit of a tailing fastball there. That was a little bizarre. So guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, they come off another loss last what time. What the? Out, and in fact, he's got a, he's got more break. Yeah, Maddie, in this sport at this level, you, you have to. Then I remember him having a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost this camera is a little bit wonky fun, too. I'm not a huge fan of it. Get on the winning side. Oh God. Oh, don't carry. Oh, don't carry. Stop right there. There we go. He's, uh... Yeah, why can't you spell? Because you are heavily under the influence of alcohol. Very few guys that can do what Adam Jones can do for a team. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season. Guess what game he's playing? Uh, guess what game who's playing? I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. Go. Breaking ball that's cut on it. Oh, yeah. First strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, hit hard. Come on, Jacoby. Got it. Is in his tracks now as he makes the catch. Guess what game you're playing? Oh god, NHL. I reinstalled it recently. Um in uh we're we're gonna finish the Bia Pro at some point. Manny Machado hits it hard on the ground, but a 1-2-3 inning for Mike Fires. Victor Martinez will lead off the second. Adding from the left side today. Against Alex Cobb. He throws one over here. I'll be taking this ball the other way. Good spot for that one there. No balls in a strike to the now 39-year-old veteran. The pitch. And hit the other way, but right, I believe, to Tim Anderson. The third baseman playing in the shortstop position. And Victor is out. Uh, Tej, it's, it's, it's Caleb. It's uh, Sparty. He just has he has got a different account name these days. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones. One of the OGs. They give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Oh my God! What? Really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I even sat back on that one longer. Christ! I would be shocked to see it three straight times. Swung through it too. Looks like a fastball coming in. Contact swing. It just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes. Ah! Okay. Okay. You're never drinking again, Steph. We know that's a lie. Tigers. Jacoby Jones, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball that just misses. I think everyone, when they get too drunk, tells themselves that. Like, oh, I'm never going to drink again. Yes, you will. Ah, yes. The, oh, my God. I have to pull that up. The five-second video. Oh, man. Man, I'm just, I'm just in front of these. I have no contact yet. No contact today. All right, hang it, baby. Hang it. Nope. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now the two one pitch is taken. Ball three. Ha! <laughs> Ricky's I eat my ass will be will always be legendary. 
Hey, TJ, I don't know if you've talked to Ricky lately. He came into my stream a little bit ago. He said he's going to be streaming pretty quickly here. He's uh, he's back in the U.S., I think is what he said right now, um, preparing for his uh, preparing for his deployment. So he's uh, he's working on a he's working on streaming again soon. He, he says he's going to be streaming a, a, a ton before he actually gets deployed. So be ready for that. Dixon Machado is on base. Oh! Got a first pitch. Dixon Machado rips it. Up and in. And Dixon sat on it. Two outs, two on for Nico Goodrum. Can we get on base and maybe score a run? Splitter in the dirt. We've extended this second inning a lot longer than I would have imagined that we, that we would have. 28 pitches now for Cobb, and he's not out of the second. Which for us is pretty goddamn impressive. Oh, good splitter. That's a good one. Oh, fuck off, ump. Not in that. Nah, no. That's not even close. Up the middle. Gonna be an easy. Well, <laughs> I say easy, but then Manny Machado threw it in the dirt when he could have easily just tagged second base. But we'll strand a couple of runners. Yeah, I was amazed that he uh, he came into my stream like late at night. I, I was one of those late streams last week sometime, and he came in. I was just like, what? So we got Chris Davis to deal with here. Mike Fires said it easy From the one first down, inning. The one, one pitch. But now and have a little bit of command problems. Low, Just not timing pitches up uh, as well as we should be right now. Oh. Davis swung out of his shoes that time. Cutter fouled off. Fires does have a curveball. Let's see if we can get Davis swinging up at uh, one of the dirt here. He swung at it, but got a piece. I don't really know what to give him here to get him out. And he got him. Swinging on the cutter. And Davis will sit. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move The defensive around. alignment today. Does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that Woo. the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this. And here's the big right hand. Here's Trey Mancini. Holy shit! This guy's batting a 474! Huh? How? Why? Who? First pitch of the at bat. Oh, geez. And then that, and then that goes. God damn. 18 game hitting streak. Now the 1 0. -oh. oh, man. See, come to the doll, Iglesias. Ah, he should have had it. It was sitting right there. They're going to call. That's the easiest 19 game hitting streak anybody will ever have. It was a two hit effort for him and threw mm. a home run in last night's game. One out nice single. By the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there. Dan. Dude, seriously. He's like, he's like the show 18's Bo Jackson. That's a base hit. Castellanos throw. It's going to be well in time to get the run. The lead runner, Mancini. Was, was rounding second as that ball hit the cutoff, man. The hell was that? Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. His previous history with Mike Fires. He's only two we'll have to check Mancini's stats, man, because that's nuts. Set, 
the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh. And you look at a fastball. Giving up two runs on two hits today. My opponent has given up zero runs on eight hits. Dude, that was my luck when I was playing. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. I couldn't believe he actually rounded, rounded the base. Seriously. I, I was amazed that he even went. I was like, he's going to be out by a solid 20 feet. Oh, left that up. Can't throw pitches there. On the ground. Should be easy for Nico Goodrum, and it is. Oh yeah, he was, he was way, way, uh, just uh, optimistic. Yes. Top of the order swings around. This is Victor Reyes. Got a hit off the catching elbow, the non-throwing elbow of Alex Cobb for a single his first time up. Up the middle, I mean, easy play there for whoever the second baseman is. He didn't say he didn't say a day, but he did say it was going to be pretty soon. He did not give me an actual day. Leadoff man retired now for the shortstop Jose Iglesias. Man, our offense is fucking nothing. We're cold. I mean, we've gotten two hits today. So have they. One was a little bit ridiculous. Hold up. I was hoping that splitter was going to find the zone. The sp he's not making any mistakes with that splitter. I think I just need to, to start laying off of that no matter what. Fouled off. Yeah, Dixon Machado has the only solid hit of the day. I mean, Victor's was was solid. I mean, that was a base hit. If it, if it misses Alex Cobb. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball but it bounced off him and actually went into foul territory. Here now the two two. Not often you see a ball hit right back up the middle, wind up foul. Off the plate. He's got a good at bat right now by Iglesias. Miguel Cabrera on deck, 3-2 count. Cobb about to throw pitch number 40. Oh, his, his elbow would be shattered. I thought it hit him in the back. Off the plate, splitter misses. And Iglesias is a one-out walk. 32nd franchise. Is that a possible? Oh, is that, that's an NHL, right? We did that as well. We st we started that one, but I never, I never did another episode of it. I think we'll just wait to NHL 19 to get an actual one going. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the yeah, corner. man, so many so many cool series, so many cool uh, games we're gonna be playing in the fall. Miguel Cabrera hits that one hard. Going back, it's gonna get down at the least. It's a two-run shot for Miguel. Home run number eight. And that's why you don't walk batters in front of Miguel Cabrera. Because things like that happen. Squid's not even... I don't even know if Squid's here to see his triumph. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit a... Well, absolutely crushed. ...shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. Into the bullpen, the Baltimore bullpen, which might just be thinking about getting into action. Now it's Nick Castellanos. He does pick him every game, um, which is a, a little, a little annoying. Feels like he's cheating the system a little bit, but it's well within the rules, I suppose. He has said, he said, well, I'll keep picking him until he's hot. And, you know, if, if somebody snipes him first, then he does like somebody did. Somebody got him before uh, Squid last in the last game of the Pittsburgh series. 
Still only one out in the inning. 45 pitches for Alex Cobb through two and a third. Three and one. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Well, it's a pretty well known. He tried so long to get him. Up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's three and one here. True. When we're talking about this kind of hitter, not ah. a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Too low. Three and two. Full He's count. throwing all fastballs, and he may throw another one here. Had to foul it off. He has thrown. Six fastballs. Still, I don't think no splitter. Fastball again. A little bit inside, but too close to take. Seven fastballs. And nothing down the middle. Curveball slapped right field. Got down. And Castellanos is on. I can't believe we didn't even get the animation of, you know, like the manager coming out, like, like checking on his player to make sure he was okay. He was just, he just bounced back. Like nothing happened. I drilled that ball off his goddamn elbow. Ah, Victor, how did we miss? Were we late? No, out in front, actually. Yeah, he probably, he's probably just got a scratch on him. That's probably it. And Victor pops up. It'll be out number two. Has a play. two down. It's a little cheese. It's it's a little Maybe cheese. Try it again. James he got out on Maybe we make a maybe we make a rule where you can't pick the same player back to back games. He's set. Here it comes. And a fastball just a bit up. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. 1 0 count. Here it is. Right hard, right field, but shallow. That is caught out there. Who the hell is that? Colby Rasmus. Whew. Oh, that was scoring a run if it got by him. A two run shot for Miguel Cabrera. But Colby Rasmus saves any more runs from coming across. And in true baseball fashion, he will lead off the next inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one, only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on. Colby Rasmus hit a home run in the first series this year we played with Baltimore. Last time we'll see the Orioles this year. In the regular season, that is. They have a good record to start the season, so we may be seeing them in the playoffs if we make it, and if they make it. Cutter didn't really do what I wanted to. Did the ball go through the club? I didn't even take a look at it. Was it kind of a janky catch? Good swing, good pitch by Mike Fires. 2-2. Good cutter, and Erasmus will strike out. Fresh off his uh, lovely, lovely catch in right field, he strikes out. Brought back down to earth. Here's Chance Sisko. Uh, retired old timer. Is that... Uh, are you new, or is this is this another Sarge account? Because remember we had retired Sarge, who is now um, something like Lunar Thunder Dragon. But regardless of who you are, welcome to the stream, retired old timer. I aspire to be retired one day, but Lord knows it's probably not going to happen. I'll be working until I'm dead. This is a foul ball. Out off again. Not really throwing very good pitches right now. I'm going to try to throw a change up down here. See if he'll swing through it. Out off again. Oh, bare hand pick by the ball boy. Out off. If you're doing well, it'll be gaming until you're dead. I'm good with that. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. 
He frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. On the ground. It'll be cut off. Dixon Machado at third base. Oh, the spin was so unnecessary. Oh, God. I had flashbacks of Jamer doing that. Jamer Candelario did that the other game and then threw a bad throw to first base. Yeah, right. That would have been a negative one for you, Evo, if he had uh, airmailed first base. And this one's hit on the, ground, the errors piling up for this team. There is no way that we're going to have a good fielding percentage this year. I feel like we have so many errors. Like an unfair amount of errors. We might as well check that after this game, see what the fielding percentage is. Good time to check the stats. Near the end of the month of April, we know who the we know who the league leader in batting average is going to be. Trey Goddamn Mancini, 474. Apparently, he's played enough in enough games to lead the Orioles. Otherwise, I don't think that would count. 54 pitches for Alex Cobb as he starts the fourth inning. The quicker we get to this Baltimore bullpen. I think the, the more success we'll have, it'll be Jones, Machado, and Goodrum. I believe that is 7, 8, and 9. The 0 1 pitch. Ah. Pitch I think I got called the splitter. I think that's what I tried to call. I guess not, because I called it down. I wouldn't be shocked to see that again. What's up, baseball guy? We're, uh, we're doing well. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. Got a uh, got an, a little bit of cheese uh, in ranked seasons earlier, so we're we're getting our franchise mode game out of the way for the day. Ah, that splitter, man, that's gonna get me. It, it, how, however long Alex Cobb is in this game, it's gonna get me swinging and fouling it off or swinging and missing every time. I don't I don't think there's gonna be any time where we're gonna time that pitch up well. Up and in with a fastball. Cobb's command has not been good today. We'll check his ratio. Eh, it's been okay. 39 strikes, 20 balls. About to throw pitch number 60. Wouldn't be shocked to see the curve here. But he's probably going to go with the splitter. I held up. Give you all my luck. Please! Steph's back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of condition she's in. <laughs> Dixon Machado's average after that last hit is up to 113. Three and two count on Jacoby Jones. And I had to. That may. Nope. Going to be caught. Good uh, play there by Jonathan Scope ranging back to make it. The gas station for cookies. Why you gotta make me jealous and shit? Fastball a miss. Always ration, ration your cookies. I'm good with the uh, the gas the gas uh, <laughs> gas ration cookies. <laughs> oh god. What has happened? What is going on? Oh, and just behind it. Behind now to one and, two. and when I say just behind it, I mean very behind it. <laughs> Ripped by Dixon, but foul. Oh, that whole that home, I think that might have even had home run dis, uh, uh, distance. Us, we're laughing at you, or somebody else is laughing at you? Because I could see both going on. What difficulty? We are on all-star difficulty, at least for now. I keep saying it every time somebody brings it up, and I'll probably continue to say it um, until we actually do raise it. But um, we will, we will. Keep it on All Star unless we feel like we're just like too good for it, which at this point I feel like I think we might be. We have a pretty good record on the year. I think we're like sixteen and nine. 
Four of those losses came to the Pittsburgh Pirates. On the ground hit, well, decently hard, but right to Manny Machado, and Dixon Machado was out. Yeah, just lose enough to <laughs> to stay on All Star. Well, we play Pittsburgh anymore, then we might ju we might not have that problem. Pittsburgh seems to just know how to beat us. Hopefully, they don't uh, meet us in the World Series. Otherwise, right, uh, you, somebody's gonna have to clip this moment right here. Because <laughs> if we beat the Pittsburgh Pirates in the World Series, I don't think we're going to do very well. My expert prediction, but signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts. We'll right see how now. it goes. He's Two outs here, fourth deal. inning. Seventy pitches now for Alex Cobb. If he is going to get that multi-year, a streamer, a streamer, Jesus Christ, a uh, pitcher that we don't generally have a lot of success uh, success with. I'm not really good at him, or, or, or you know, facing him. This On the ground, Nico Goodrum, right. The second. second baseman, Jonathan Scope, that'll end the fourth. And we are, well. Still cold. Two-run home run by Miguel Cabrera has powered our offense to a lead, but offense still is not where we uh, where we once were. Scoring four runs, six runs every game. Here's Tim Beckham. He will lead off the bottom of the fourth for the Orioles. Mike Fires in pretty much complete, complete control. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm drunk. I don't mean it. You don't mean to be drunk? Yeah, right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get Cobb out tonight. Or tonight, fuck. I'm not even drunk. What is my English right now? Um, the one, two. Hopefully we can get to their bullpen early in this game. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One and two here on Tim Peckham. Comes again, one, two. Popped up. Popped high in the air. That'll be Martinez. Miggy for the long run to make the play. Or no, Victor Martinez rather. Forgot we uh, DH'd uh, Miggy today. It's Victor at first. Cutter will drop into Manny Machado. Yeah, no, no, don't. No need to leave. When I'm drunk or when Chat's drunk, you can make fun of them too. It's just what we do. Machado won't chase. I would love a slider for Mike Fires, but he doesn't have one. Up the middle. Oh, that's going to be a base hit. There's no one to cover. Victor had to get it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Off of fires. Manny Machado has a hit. His hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. Keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Not exactly great. Oh, God, you're drunk with your dad? I don't know if I could ever be drunk with my parents. That would be so weird. Swing and a miss. Down goes Chris, down goes Chris Davis on three pitches. Oh yeah, I would drive. I would drive up to wherever the fuck in Michigan you are, and oh yeah, I'd be dead. I would be waiting at your house when you got home. No, I wouldn't kill you. I'd just tell you how stupid you were. But if you're not... Oh, that might be trouble. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. No! What the hell is that? You're fucked, MLB!
What in the shit? I just, I just ran right by it. This game is shit sometimes. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Thanks, MLB. Yeah. Right after you fuck me on an animation. Yeah. Right. Pitch hits a zone. No good. When the bottom of the zone's been called a strike all damn day. This is when I. This is when I lose my patience with this game. Swing and a miss. God damn it. One batter earlier. And of course it's Mancini. That's his second funky animation Trey Mancini's got in this game. He got a hit on the last one, too. No wonder. No wonder he's batting 474. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in. Gonna be batting 500 by the time this series is over if this keeps up. Victor Reyes will again lead off. I believe for the third time already in this game. What's up, Golden Tipo? Uh, fellow Tigers fan. Hey, yes. Yes, there's not too many of these, uh, uh, not too many of these Tiger fans, so-called Tiger fans these days. But, uh... Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Staying true. And that misses no bandwagon one. here. Dude, Trey Mancini did bribe the show. One hundo per center. Is taken for ball two. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, that, that, that must be why his average is so good, because he keeps getting funky animations. Hey, okay. Got a 3-1 count on, Ho or, I was going to say Jose Reyes, uh, Victor Reyes. Uh, we might. In the air, not, uh, not enough. Not enough. Good contact, but uh, not enough power to the opposite field for Victor Reyes. Uh, through, thick and st through thick and thin, got to stay with the home team. I feel you. That's why That's why being a Lions fan is so, so, so difficult, man. But it's worth it. I remember a line from a hype video the Lions used the, uh, a couple years ago. Um, actually, a couple of them. It's like, won't be easy. It never has been. We wouldn't want it any other way. I'm like, could you make it easy just once? Oh, fuck. And then, um, and then what was the other one? God damn, I don't remember. But it was pretty good. I'm going to have to find that video and play it because it, it fucking, it still gets me excited to this day. I'm made of swag. I feel like I remember that name being in here before. Maybe. Here it comes. Are you new, uh, Mr. Swag? I don't think you are. I remember that name. Uh, my favorite Tiger right now. Um, uh, it's tough. I like uh, I like Fulmer, obviously. Um, Daniel Norris uh, is my, one of my favorite, you know, guys on the team. Um, Cabrera, obviously. I'm wearing I'm the Cabrera jersey today. I was going to say, I don't think you were new, uh, uh, Swag. Oh, yeah. They, the Lions are the best team in Detroit right now. No doubt. And you know what? I loved their draft pick yesterday. Loved it. You know, people You know, people may watch the draft. Some casual Lions fans may watch the draft. Ooh, a center from fucking Arkansas. Who the hell is this guy? I fucking love it. It's not sexy. It doesn't have to be. Miguel Cabrera, hard hit ball. Second hit of the game. Although I think I heard that they were going to move him to guard and move um, Graham Glasgow to center. Or maybe it was the other way around. They were going to move Glasgow to guard. I don't remember where... Uh, I don't remember what 
way they said that they were going to do it, but it seemed to make a lot of sense. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning, then you give up that two-out base hit. Hit hard by Castellanos, but center fielder Adam Jones will run over to make the play, and that'll be the end of the fifth. Giants got Barkley. I'm so damn pumped. I think I think Odell Beckham's probably going to be right. Saquon Barkley's jersey is probably going to be the number one selling jersey this year. Either that or maybe Baker Mayfield, but Browns jerseys are so ugly. I don't I don't see I don't foresee that happening. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ooh, well, we actually got a call. Okay, solid. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Didn't get the call on the next one though. Yeah, the um the line, you know, to protect Stafford is one thing. I don't think they've ever had a problem protecting a quarterback. They can't block the run, and I just don't understand it. Like, we can't, we went out and got guys like TJ Lang and Rick Wagner last year. Now, granted, we lost Rick Wagner, and we didn't have Taylor Decker for the first part of the year. But that, this team, the last four or five years, has not been able to block the run. At all. I mean, they have been so bad. You know, forget a forget a thousand yard rusher on the season. How about a hundred yard rusher in one game? It's been about four years, maybe longer. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. Oh, for one for him here in this one. Byers gets his sign. First pitch on the way. So needs I'd like to see addressed on day two. Um, tight end. I would like to see them draft a running back, but not until the, maybe the later rounds. The wind up and the 0 -2 pitch. Oh, that's it hard. Left. Jones has a read on it, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Hey. They still trail it here, two to one. What the hell? Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Come on, recent events. Load back up. You can do it. I can't load my event list anymore. Okay, solid. Perfect. Yeah, dude, the ball boy's uh, picking it today. All right, Victor. Just a solid base hit on the ground. Ah, laid on it. Oh, that was our pitch right there. Something's wrong with Streamlabs, I think. I can't load it. I can't load my event list. Rip to right field, but I think... Oh, it might stay fair. It's off the pole. It's a home run for Victor Martinez. Somehow that ball stayed fair off Alex Cobb, his second home run allowed today. Tigers have been staked to a three to one lead. I don't know how. I thought for sure that ball was gonna hook foul. Well, this is something you don't see every day. Alright, can I load what the, the hell is going on? Bat, but it was anybody's guess. Can I reload anything? Like this Twitch reload? Is, until it clanked yeah, Twitch reloads, so something's fucked with Streamlabs. No so if anyone's followed and I uh, you haven't gotten a notification, that would be why. Now, 87 pitches. I cannot believe they're still going with Alex Cobb. Round We've hit him pretty hard. Like six, well, six hits, but on the first, so two of them home runs. The ground, ground out there from McCann on the first pitch. That was a mistake. Zillian says the uh, Eagles are going to repeat. I wouldn't be shocked, man. Good team. And with Carson Wentz, they're going to be even, you know, with Carson Wentz back, they'll be even better. Oh, on the ground, a little bit behind it. Two straight first pitch swings. Not the greatest uh, decisions there. 89 pitches now for Cobb. Yeah, where's it? Where's his cookies, Steph? I thought you. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were giving us goddamn cookies. The hell? What's up, uh, EMP Tay, Detroit fan? Yes. Of all, all Detroit teams. 
That is squared up, but caught by Jonathan Scope. We just got three outs on three pitches. I'm pretty sure that was a uh, big-time choke. But Victor Martinez somehow keeps this ball fair. Off the foul pole, it is a three. One lead as we go bottom six. Doink. Last time we hit a home run off a foul pole, uh, we blew the game late. Jose Iglesias hit one down the line, I believe, in the last. Or was it in the Pittsburgh series? I think he, uh, no, who the hell were we facing? I don't remember. That game that Jose Iglesias hit the home run on. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, this guy has been locating his from Nebraska. I wish Abdullah was better for you guys. I would, man, I was so hyped when we got Abdullah because obviously, um, being being from Michigan, I'm a Michigan fan, so that means I watch a lot of Big Ten football. So I watched a lot of Amir Abdullah, and um, I was really I, I had higher hopes for him, and you know maybe he can get it turned turned around as maybe the secondary back um, to Legarrette Blunt this year. It's gonna be a toss up between Abdullah and Riddick. Because even at his age, ah, I thought we might be able to get that. <laughs> even at his age, um, you know, I think LeGarrette Blunt could still do some decent things for us. In the air, right field, Nick Castellanos should be able to get this. Well, since we got some Yankee fans in here, if you guys haven't seen it, um, already on my channel our road to the show this year we are on the new york yankees first offering on its way not batting all that well but we just started our second year professional we are on the yankees bench ah not a good pitch there Mike Fires is in pretty good shape here. 73 pitches. We could be we should be able to get through the 6 with him. And then anything else will be uh, will be plus. Only 17 pitches have missed the zone today for Mike Fires. On its way is pitch number 75. And a cut back. Uh, throwing throwing a good pitch here in a, in a little bit. Need to uh, maybe strike him out here with a fastball two, two. up and in. Swung at it, pulled it. To the left side. Foul. Come on, let's get him. Ah, uh, not a good pitch, but he's going to pop it up. Machado is over now, and he's got it for round number two. Oh man. Yeah, I think there is some some. Uh, St uh, some stock to be put into that you know them adjusting to the new manager and especially a first time manager as well what position um, we're an outfielder uh, our position is an outfielder they use this as a DH most times because they still have Stanton they still have judge so I don't know why they even traded for us. <laughs> to be fair, I I don't I don't quite understand it, but um, we're uh, we we cracked the we cracked the lineup last year. As the season went on, they, we were we were playing too well to have them to, to to have them keep us out of the lineup. Two and two oh two Manny Machado. Won't chase the curve. And a full count with Chris Davis on deck. Two out, six minutes. Out away. That was not a good pitch. Don't carry out. Jacoby Jones on the goddamn warning track. Yikes. Being a catcher would be fun, I think. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Score hold All right, stream left back yet? Oh, that's a yes. Welcome back to baseball on the show. We're I think the first six innings with the Tigers slowly on loading. Before we start the seventh, let's take a look slowly at our game loading. Come on. Michael Gibbons is going to come in for the O's here. All at that uh, 
I'll let that lane. I did see that walk off from Gary Sanchez. That was a, uh, was a pretty big hit. Ready for another chance, Nico Goodrum. Couple of ground outs on. I would imagine you don't feel good, Steph. I would imagine. I could see that being a thing. From the stretch. Your family pressured you to keep drinking. Jesus Christ. Are they trying to kill you? Off the plate here. 2-0 to Nico. Wait, what? Oh, no, that fastball did, uh, or slider, rather, did uh, come drop in for the first uh, strike on the first pitch. Again, if you guys haven't gotten your Streamlabs follow notifications, I see them popping up on my um, email that you guys are following me, but I can't tell who. <laughs> so I'm sure the notifications will pop up uh, soon, but it's not me. Streamlabs is kind of uh, stupid right now. Two and two on Nico Goodrum. I'm late on that ball. Mancini is after it. He gets there and makes the play. I'm confused on that. All right, Streamlabs. Get sick of your shit. So the lineup. It just won't pop up. I don't know. My my event list will not pop up. He flew out in his last at bat. I don't know. Whatever. Your sister said hi. Well, hello, Steph's sister. First delivery to him on the way. Hit the other way. It's going to be a base hit. Maybe more for Victor Reyes down the line. Looks like it's going to be two. Victor Reyes will pull in with another hit. His second of the game, I'm pretty sure. A one-out double. Oh, by the way, we should get somebody up in the bullpen just in case Fires can't make it to the seventh. Good hit there. Off Michael Givens. Now, I don't think anybody picked Victor Reyes. I don't think anybody did. Or did I? I did. Hey. <laughs> I Nobody picked him I, uh, until the very end. I did. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. Slider will miss low. We need more girls in here. It's not really a, it's not really a directory where I get too many girls that come into the stream. Ready with the 1-0 -oh pitch. Iglesias rips one foul. I, I don't remember too many girls uh, coming to the stream and hanging around, but that's not all that surprising. Oh, that almost hit Iglesias. I remember one back in the old YouTube streaming days, but she uh, she didn't really hang around all that often. And it's fouled away. Classic change of speeds right there. How late am I streaming? Probably till about 10, 10 o'clock my time. So probably about three more hours. That is the plan. Inside of a fastball. Mikel Cabrera on deck. 375 average. We'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. I think we're going to do some road to the show up next. You guys let me know which one you want to see. Do you want to see my road to the show in the Yankees or Scott Scott on the Braves? Ready with the payoff pitch. Ah, fuck you. All right. Fastball got us. Michigan is Eastern time, yeah. 7 o'clock here right now. Miguel Cabrera will stride in, but first we take you back to the third. I want to see the adventures of Bo Pins, but we can't get it all. Bo leave. Bo leave. Oh, they're going to walk Miguel. Free points for Squid, God damn it! No, nah, Michigan's not central time. We're Eastern. Just barely. With, like, uh, parts of Michigan, the very western parts of uh, the upper peninsula of Michigan, um... Are in uh, are in central, but I am in an east. I'm on the very eastern, uh, northeastern part of Michigan, so I am uh, Eastern time. Inside with a fastball on Nick, two on. 
Two out here, seventh inning, three one lead. Real quick, the last thing you want a bow pins road to the show would be Im incredible. Strike zone right here. Ah, what? Mancini. Why? How? Ah! Catch and that'll retire the side. Tiger strand of pair as the lead remains three to one. Oh, I thought I should have had that ball. Well, we'll go to the bottom of the seventh with a 3-1 lead. We'll see if Fires can get through the seventh before we turn it over to Alex Wilson and Shane Green. Here is Chris Davis. 84 pitches for Fires is going to need a quick inning. And that's not the, that's not a great pitch to uh to start. Is it nice in Michigan? Um, well, if you like storms uh that give you three feet of snow in the middle of april then yes because that's what we just got quality start for fires to say the least been incredible today this uh this is a lot like his first start on the season here's trey mancini we'll see what uh Janky animation the uh, game will give him to get him on base this time. What is his average? 485. Oh no. What's up, Chris Weaver? <laughs> this is nuts, man. Can I seriously? I may just I may just walk him. On the ground. 46 speed. You finally got Mancini. <laughs> Family snowmobiles, hunts, fishes. And you might, you, you'll like it here, man. Northern Michigan is the place for you. Oh, wow. I don't know what happened there. I didn't hit the button or something. Hey, you know what we didn't do? Get anybody up in the bullpen. So it's a good thing Fires has uh, gotten through this inning easy. Wilson and Green are full on stamina. I would love to go with Joe Jimenez in this spot. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. But that weird rain delay, glitchy that. thing that we had happen puts him out of commission for a couple days. There it is. Fires getting tired. And a swing and a miss. Jonathan Scope will strike out. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Victor Martinez saves an error. Miggy has like seven or eight points today. Yeah, yeah, Squid. Yes, Squid, you have more points. Changeup will miss. Victor Martinez, who just saved a run, or not a run, but an error uh, at first base. We'll pitch here, eighth inning. Pitch here, eighth inning. Jesus, what is my English? That is Jonathan Scope there to make the play. Dixon is plus one today. It is an absolute miracle. All right, is my Streamlabs fixed yet or no? Riding in once again, James McCann. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. All right, so I have an events list again. Can I refresh? I'm going to take this pitch so I can refresh this shit. Oops. All right. Hello? I may have to refresh my alerts as well. Right on the ground to scope. Um, there. That. Let's see if we get a ton here. No. 
Uh, all right. Digging in once again, Jacoby Jones. He's over. I'll get to these new follows here between innings because Streamlabs fucked up. I have to tell. Oh Lord, what's the over under on how many drinks Steph has had? I'm gonna say. Oh well. Two. Goombe slams and a sex on the beach in 20 minutes. That's terrible. Why are you doing this to yourself? Ripped foul by Jacoby Jones. Down the left side. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. In the air, center field, hit hard. Still going back. Jones will make the play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. All right, can I fix the alerts here? What if I I can replay alerts? So I know we got to retired old timer. Let's do Matt Foley. Let's see. Well, this is this gonna work? Here's the center fielder now. Adam All right, Jones. Matt Foley, 69 with a follow. Zillion, EMP Tay, and Golden Tipo. Thank you guys for your follows. I don't know what's going on with my. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my alerts at the moment. They're kind of screwy, but thank you guys for your follows. Thank you for being here. Oh fuck you. Oh, I don't know why I'm pitching with fires. I may have to uh, recopy and paste the alerts or something. Oh, that ball was hung. Back there is Victor Reyes to make the play. 99 pitches for Mike Fires, and that's going to be all. We're going to bring in Alex Wilson. Lost the game, game two in Pittsburgh. His first loss in the year. He's two and one. 1.29 ERA. And a great batting average, really against both sides, but way better against righties. New pitcher will face Colby Rasmus. Two and oh, or oh and two. Getting Arby's soon? I got Arby's today. I'm not even kidding. Strikeout for Alex Wilson. That's out number two here in the eighth. Final line for Mike Fires. 99 pitches, struck out six. Allowed a one earned run on four hits. Uh, need suggestions for Arby's? The Euro, I love the Euros. That's actually what I was going to get today. But uh, they uh, they have not I don't know if it's new or if I just don't go to Arby's enough. They had this brisket barbecue bourbon thing. That was really good. A salad? Does, I don't even think the, uh, Arby's has a salad. Bro! That's a strike and you know it, Blue! This guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball And he gets a walk because of it. Fuck. That's not even right. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding. Hello! What are we doing here? Changes this game quite a bit, but if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Hey! Four hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. No fucking way is this gonna happen. No. Hell! What are we doing? A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start. Hey, sure? You sure on that one? The play here. I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch. Swing and a miss. A uh, full count now for the Orioles center fielder. And he misses again. Ball four. Gah! That's back to back guys now. Don't deserve any of this shit. Don't deserve either one of your base runners right now. That's an awful pitch. I will admit that. That is a terrible pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. That is two. Come on! He tried to get him to chase the low one. What a great opportunity to come through right here. Bail the south there. Fuck, we need a mound visit. We need a mound visit right now. Now time is called here as 
will get a trip to the Oh my god. Oh shit. The two one runs a bit inside for a ball. Why? Come on. Two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. Just has to be careful. No. A walk would be good here too. And they're gonna try and score him. And he's dead. What are you doing, McCann? Oh, they got him. What a play. Oh, what a play. The throw by Nick McCann tags him. And that ends the eighth three to one. Oh. Oh, my God. A nice look there at the inner harbor here in Charlotte. Dude. We welcome you back to baseball on the show. Oh, ho, oh, oh. All right, Shane Green will have the ninth. Shouldn't have even happened. None of it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Dixon foul. The second hard hit ball that he's fouled off. Steph, you are 100% easy to deal with. I'm gonna have to go to work tonight and deal with like real drunks, like real difficult drunks. One on one on Dixon Machado. Oh, he went change up, the bastard. All right, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Doesn't really have a breaking ball necessarily. Change up is the closest thing to it. We just saw that, so I'm thinking sinker down low. Ripped foul by Dixon. The one two. Oof. For ball number two. Here now the two two. Foul. What? How was that fouled off? Ah! Ready with another two two. Fouled off again. And again, I should have had it. Everything down low right now. Off the plate, three and two. Dixon Machado. Hanging in there. We have seen eight pitches. What will pitch number nine be? It's another full count offering on its way. Off the plate with a cutter. Dixon works a walk second time. He's on base today. Yeah, right. Reasons to cry. No. No, we probably shouldn't. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that's ripped in the gap, perhaps. Way back there. Caught by Adam Jones. And Dixon retreats. Nico Goodrum put a charge into one. Here's Victor Reyes. He's hit the ball hard today. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Down low. Fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. Dead man. One Fuck! <laughs> that just got dark. Oh no! Victor down a double play! <laughs> oh, I played so well today. Oh. Alright, it'll be in the hands of Shane Green, a two run lead. But he's got to go through the heart of the Baltimore lineup. The Cleveland Browns are a reason to cry. What's darker, the Cleveland Browns or dead babies? Oh, they're going to say it went around. And Shane Green strike out Manny Machado. Oh, they say he didn't go. Oh, no way. For the record, we'll show you this. This is not a swinging strike, apparently. But this. But that was.
Yep. All right, whatever you say. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. After two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now. Tough. What the hell? Something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you want to late on it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. He's set. Use the two two. On the ground. Gonna have to be a good play. No, no, what the, what the hell is going on? I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead off guy any time he gets uh, on. It usually creates a problem. And you know what, Nero, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that lead off huh? guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts what? stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a miss on a cutter. Late that time for a strike. My fucking lord. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. There's a knee high. 0 2 on Chris Davis. Working for the punch out and the Swing and a miss on a slider. And he goes down on strike. I am so pissed at that. Good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Come on, man. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Pitch Mancini. misses bad. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He's 2 for 3 and looking for more here. This is Trey Mancini. We got to watch out. Might be two. Nico Goodrum on the second. On the first. And we got the double play to end the game. The jankiness of that leadoff single will not come back to bite us. And Trey Mancini and his near 500 batting average ground out to end the game. Mike fires with a strong start. GG's all around. And we are, I believe, 4 and 0 versus the O's. Mike Fires' first win on the year. Alex Cobb gets his second loss. Green seventh save. And a 3 to 1 win from Camden Yards.